this is Emily Zlanian with TVInsider.com, and I'm here in the Hollywood-branded Unbranded Lounge with the cast of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Now, we have some characters here that fans are familiar with, some characters that they may not be familiar with quite yet. So just really quick, run through who you play, what their role is. Um, let's start with our lovely Galadriel, because um, everybody knows who you're playing. But tell us about your Galadriel. Um, so I'm playing Dadriel in the Second Age, which is thousands of years before the books, The Lord of the Rings, that we all know so well. And um, she's going through a lot at this point. She's an elf alone in the world. Yeah. She was very mysterious. Go ahead. She is very mysterious. Yeah. Uh, my name is Lloyd Owen. I'm playing Elendil, who is a Numenorian. He's the 38th great-great-great-great-great-great-grandfather of uh, Aragorn. And where we find him at the beginning of the series is uh, trying to battle between his head and his heart, getting pulled into the politics of Numenor, but trying not to. Beautiful. Hi. 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 I am Nazni Bonyadi, and I play Bronwyn. Uh, she is a Southlander. She's a human, and she's the mother of a rebellious teenage son and in a forbidden romance with an elf. Uh-oh. My name is Leon Wadham. I play Kimon, who's a Numenorian, who's also involved in the political sphere of the island. Um, I'm Benjamin Walker. I play High King Gil Galad, and I'm, um, I'm King of the Elves. Pretty straightforward gig. We, we know that guy for sure. Yeah, he's for cool. Sure. You know, from that song Sam sings. Yeah, 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 exactly. Now, when did you guys first have your, oh my God, I'm in the Lord of the Rings moment? Did that happen? this weekend? Did it happen during your first fitting, your first script read? What, like your first time on set, when did you have your, that, oh my gosh, I am really in the Lord of the Rings? Mine fully hit yesterday in yesterday? the Hall H. Because I kind of thought I had an understanding of it. And the process of making it is something that we're all familiar with. But then you come to something like this and you get to see that kind of attention and excitement and love from the fans and you're like oh these are my fellow people we're like i'm a fan you're a fan and we're doing this thing it's very exciting and that that for me like i there's before hall h and after hall h and it was nerve-wracking and i'm glad that it's over but now i'm like oh we, we're doing a thing a big thing yeah a really big thing yeah yeah and it, and it feels supported and that people are as excited to see it as we are to share it with them Absolutely. Anybody else have their, oh my God, I'm in the Lord of the Rings moment they want to share? <laughs> I think for me it was watching it. We, we, we as a cast, saw uh, the first three episodes uh, a few days ago. And to share the experience with these guys who we've, we've bonded so much and leaned on each other so much over the past three years. Um, and to see my friends on screen and cheer them on and um, as a fan, like I'm now a fan. You know? Right. Yeah. That's beautiful. Hall H, Hall H, Hall H, I'm with you, Ben. That was just one of those moments where the surreal turned into the real, turned back to the surreal. I just couldn't quite get my head around it. Just and the then, screaming. And then, yeah, and then, <clears throat> and then you just absorb that atmosphere, and you're like, okay, we are in something of interest here. Incredible. Did you have one? Understatement of the year. I just think, for me, it just keeps happening. I'm just like, oh, oh. Just um, constant pinch myself. Yeah, always. every time you see saw a set, every time you got into a new costume, every time you met a new character while you were filming, it would just like hit home. Definitely the day I walked onto the set of Numenor, which they built it at sounds the back epic. is absolutely extraordinary. I was blown away by that. Yeah, same here. I was genuinely stepping into another world. Uh, we shot in New Zealand, mm -hmm. where I'm from. I know that studio very well. I thought I knew what I was walking into. I turned up and there was a city with a wharf with boats in water on the back lot. It was transcendent. Incredible, incredible. Now, we have a couple elves here. So let's, I would like to know what this, this relationship, this dynamic looks like between Gil Galad and Galadriel. How do they feel about each other? It's complicated? It's complicated. Yeah. I think there is a mutual respect and an understanding of experience but the, the elves uh, honor hierarchy um, because they're going to live forever. We've got to establish some right. form of order. And with any form of hierarchy, there's friction. Would you agree? Yeah, and um, there's, the elves are all very old, very clever, have seen a lot. And so um, there's a bit of arrogance between them as well, I'd say. <laughs> 
which okay. kind of seems fair enough. Yeah, fair it's enough. like a thousand-year-long marriage. Yes. <laughs> you know them so well. That's Oh, brutal. you're doing that thing you do. Could you not yeah. again? There you are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's you. That's fantastic. Now, I read that it took you um, three hours to get into your armor for this. Did anybody else have any, like, insane lengths of time in the costume? The dwarves. Wardrobe just department get just took forever? The, the dwarves got it. Yeah. yeah. But three hours for that armor? Yeah. I mean, it's incredible. It's like a Rubik's Cube in terms of getting it on. Um, yeah, and there'd be about, there'd always be at least four people kind of working on me at one time. <laughs> it just feels like this octopus kind of coming and oh my work it all out. But, um, yeah, it's amazing. And it, it really, it, it was helpful for being Gladriel because... You felt kind of like some sort of medieval queen, right. kind of being prepared You're for something huge. Up. Yeah, um, yeah. So it was wonderful. Got to know costume very well. <laughs> yeah, very, very well. Um, all right, I think that's all the time I have today, guys. But thank you so, so much. Everyone, go watch the Lord of the Rings: The Rings of Power, September second on Prime Video.